Good evening, vinyl community. North Carolina vinyl picker on a Sunday night. I got some things to show you that I got from the uh, thrift stores. Got a few things I got uh, from eBay. And I want to go over some items that I have. Uh, CDs, 45s, albums of multiples. Does anybody out there in the uh, vinyl community ever get... Um, stuff that they already have like if you, if you have like a, this certain kiss album or you want it every time you see it you want to buy it again and you have like six copies the other people do that or is it just me um i want to go i'm going to go down the list um i got uh my top five top five um records or cds or that i have multiple copies of and these are the high numbers i'm, I'm not even doing the twos and the, the twos and the threes these are all fours and above <laughs> so yeah we're gonna go we're gonna do those but uh, let's go uh through some of the stuff that i picked up recently um off of uh, ebay i um i put in there things that i would like to get and then it comes up every morning and then i always try to find the cheapest way to go about getting it and um so far it's been working out pretty good my wife said i have so much uh so many records and stuff is because i'm cheap so i don't know if that's true or not <laughs> But I do have a lot of stuff, and I do acquire a lot of stuff. But this album here is just wonderful. I, I had this, the John Anderson. I had this CD uh, back before the first uh, purge of CDs uh, when I got rid of a lot of my CDs. And um, this is a great album. He did some wonderful things when he was on Wyndham Hill. He was on Wyndham Hill for a short time, and he made uh, two or three records. Um, Earth, Mother Earth was one. Um, the Sayo was another one. And um, there's a couple more. But th that period of when he was away from uh, away from Yes and doing these Wyndham Hill records, uh, look them up and uh, see if you can uh, find a couple of these. But this one here is really good. This has got his daughter on here too. She plays on here, sings on here. So I got this in for like five bucks on eBay. It's one I've been wanting. And there's a couple others that I put on there of his that I don't have anymore that I want to get. Um, Change We Must is another one where he redoes some of his older songs and some of the songs he did with uh, Vangelis. This is the, the first Robert Plant, Alison Krauss album. I found it on CD. Uh, the, the vinyl records are pretty pricey. So I was able to get the uh, CD for like $6.00. And uh, that works for me. Um, what a great, what a great duo! And their new album is just fantastic. Um, Raise the roof. If you don't have that, you should go ahead and um, pick that up because it is just really good. They're both really good. Robert Plant's voice is—it's still right there. He still got it, and he sounds really good with Allison Krauss. Like, I believe she's a country artist. I'm just starting to listen to some of her uh, solo stuff. I got this on eBay. I didn't even know this came in a 7-inch. Uh, Linda Ronstadt. And this is Allison. That's the Elvis Costello song. This is from 78. And this is a UK. So maybe this wasn't uh, released as a picture disc um, in the States. But this is a 7-inch of the larger one which is on the wall framed over there um so yeah you can probably see it right there above above uh linda is uh, stephen wilson so pretty cool i i seen it i've been watching it and then it, the price goes up and then um i put in there you know the lowest i can get it for i think i paid like all in all i think i paid like six dollars maybe seven for the postage and um for the uh, 45. So that was pretty cool. I like that. I got this uh, BG comp. It's really, really old BG stuff. This is like from their, when they were uh, recording in Australia and doing their, um, doing their songs over there before they came to the States. And um, a lot of the songs you wouldn't probably re re uh, recognize. Uh, I, I, I sure didn't. But I really enjoyed it, uh, listening to their their young voices uh, singing these songs. And um, some of this stuff was put on their first couple um, albums in the stateside when they uh, came over. This one here is called Take a Hold of That Star. 
the Australian sessions, circa 1964. So there you go. And then I was in a thrift store and I couldn't believe what I found. I looked it up as got some price to it. Not not crazy uh, money, but um, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Everybody's probably owned this album at one time or has definitely heard it. Elton John's uh, masterpiece, double album, original master recording. And I was able to get this for a dollar. It was in a bunch of, with a bunch of CDs. And I said, oh, please, please not be, don't, don't be all scratched up. So it's got the gold on the back. And it was really good shape. And I played it, I played it actually in my truck on the way home. And uh, it sounded fantastic. I'm gonna have to play it in, in the uh, media room here so I can listen to it. And uh, But for a dollar, I think I looked, I think it's worth like $50 on, on uh, eBay. And this is another one I have, I just happen to have, I'll show you. This is the S Fragile. This is also on that same original master recording. I found this in Florida at a record store. I think the guy had $10 on it. I couldn't get it down off the shelf fast enough. Okay, so I found these three in a thrift store close by my house. I never saw this one before. The Amazing Beatles. And this is on Clarion. Anybody out there ever seen this record before? Without their faces? Probably get in trouble if they had their faces on there. This is a uh, like I said, it was Clarion um, Records, made in the USA though. And then I found this one there. Everybody's either probably seen this one a dozen times. And it's on the Apple label. And um, so this was in there. It's got a few scuffs and a few minor scratches on it. But for a um, for dollar, I wouldn't want to let it stay in the Goodwill. All these were a dollar. And this one here, I don't know if I showed this on the last video, but I'm going to show it again. This is a first press or close to a first press of Revolver that I paid a, a dollar for at that same store the day before. Then I went back the next day to look and see if they put any more out and they had these other two there. So that was pretty cool. So those are my pickups for this week. Not a lot, but a few good ones, a few things in there. Uh, next thing is going to be, um, I want to thank the new subscribers I got. Um, I've seen, I picked up a couple today and I picked up a couple the other day. And, um, if you like my videos, um, uh, subscribe, hit the bell. That way you'll know every time I, uh, I show a, a new show, a new video. Um, I usually do it on Tuesdays and Saturday nights. And, uh, this week's have been uh, a day late and, uh, well, I had one Tuesday one time where I think I did it on Wednesday. So it was a day late there also. So my number one multiple purchase of a CD, um, LP, or um, 45. My number, we'll start off with number five. How about that? And this here is an album by Lorena McKinnon. And it's called The Visit. And I have, excuse me, I have four copies of The Visit. Four of them. Whenever I go into a Goodwill or Habitat or someplace, Habitat for Humanity, and I see one and I look at it and look at it and it's really nice and clean, I pick it up. So now I have four copies of The Visit by Lorena McKinnon. Awesome record. Or a CD. If you, I don't even know if it comes on vinyl, but it, this is back in the uh, '90s when uh, CDs ruled. Um, pick this up if you get it. If you can get it for a dollar, just give it a listen or listen to it on YouTube. But she's an e exceptional vocalist, and she's had uh, several albums before this, and she had several albums after this. And um, her fia uh, the story. Uh, she stopped making music for a while. And uh, the story was, what I heard was, real quick, was that her, um, her soon-to-be husband, her fiancé, and her father were out fishing in a lake somewhere up in Canada. And they both drowned. 
And then she didn't, after that, she was um, down for a long time and she didn't make music for a long time. But within the last few years, she's made a few couple of new albums. But can you imagine that happening to you? Okay, so the next one I got is The Book of Secrets. This is also Lorena McKinnon. And I have three copies of this. This is another one of her great albums. These that are probably my two favorite. And then she has about five others. But if you can pick either one of these up, and if you don't like it, put it aside and send it to me. There you go. Okay, number four. We're going to go talk about uh, Tori Amos for a minute, one of my favorite female artists. Um, I have four copies, four copies of The Boys from Pele. This will be her third album. I just say I pick them up for a dollar. And I just can't stop picking them up. So I'm not sure what you call that. But <laughs> it goes for these. What I'm going to show you tonight, the, the, my special feature for tonight, is to show you multiples. So there's four copies of The Boys of Pele. This is Tori Amos' third album. Give it a listen. Really, really exceptional. Okay, I have two, three, four copies of her first album, Little Earthquakes. This one here is a box set that was released by Rhino uh, 2015, so seven years ago, six, seven years ago. And here you go. Four copies of Little Earthquakes. This is the tour that I've seen Tori in. And then I have four copies of Scarlet's Walk, her fifth album. Three of them. And then also the special edition which has all the uh, CDs and maps and all kinds of postcards and letters and stuff in here. It's another great album of hers. These are all her early classic albums that she made. If you're into Tori Amos, you know what Scarlet's Walk is. Okay, let's go to number three. Uh, thrift store I went to. Um, in a small town, not too far from me. I was looking through a bunch of 45s. And they had multiple copies of lots of 45s. Some of them were without uh, sleeves. Some of them had sleeves. Uh, most of it was, uh, um, I'd say, like um, 80s rock, probably 80s rock. And they had like five copies of Bon Jovi or, you know. So, but then I kept digging. I said, I found this. And I love Pat Metheny. He's like my favorite jazz artist. Are you going with me? And this is from... Turn left. So, off ramp. And, um, great song. And there's the whole band. And I kept digging, and I kept digging, and I kept digging. And I found five copies of it. And there were 50 cents a piece. So what do you do? Do you leave them? Do you pick them all up for 250 And then put them aside somewhere? When are you going to see them again? Not going to see them again. I've never seen them. You don't see too many Jazz 45s. And these are all on the ECM label. So I got five copies of Pat Metheny. Are you going with me? Okay. Okay, where are we at? Seven copies of... Sorry. Seven copies of Herb Albert Whipped Cream. Well, six copies. I got six copies, and then I got one special one that's not Herb Albert. But I got six copies of Whipped Cream and Other Delights, Herb Albert. A lot of people have a lot of copies of this. But I only have six. A couple of them are represses. You can tell the backs way that the um, record looks. This is probably an OG, and this is probably the later press, or vice versa. I have two of one and four of the other. So, there you go. Whipped cream and other delights. Six copies. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then, I found this. Sweet cream. The takeoff on the uh, other album I just showed you. The beautiful cover. 
So there you go. So now I'm up to number one. Number one, one I have, and that is going to be, put on my hat for this. That was number one is going to be Victory at Sea. And I have one copy of this one. Stack these up as I go here. One copy of that one. I have one copy with this cover. I have one copy with this cover. I have one copy with this cover. I have two copies of this cover. 22 all in all. I have this cover. And I have, let's see here, one, two, three, three copies of this one. Three copies of this. Okay, we're getting there. I got one, two, three, four. Four copies of this one. And this one is different from these three. There's three more copies of this one. So you with me? There's four of those. I'm not losing nobody out there, I hope. Okay, one, two, three, four. This is a cool one. Four copies of this one. Okay. And I got five copies of this double album. I never realized there was so many different releases and covers of these. And there's probably a bunch of you out there that didn't know that either. There's a Red Seal RCA. So that's the number one. 22 copies and counting on the... Um, yes, on the Victory at Sea. So that's about all I got for tonight. I was going to show you one other 45 if I could find it. Hang on a second. There it is. And a 45. You can make this number 23. Victory at Sea. Members of the NBC Sympathy uh, Orchestra, Robert Russell Bennett, conductor. So that's my show for today. It's Sunday night. Everybody be safe out there. Lots of snow blowing around. And um, I appreciate all you guys and gals out there watching my show. You can find me on Instagram, Spinning Records, too. And um, you have a safe night. And uh, y'all take care. North Carolina Picker out. <laughs>